Work rate. You gotta love these problems, right? The first thing you do in the work rate problem is you set up the jobs per time. Like, um, say it's Kobayashi. He eats so many hot dogs in so much amount of time. Each hot dog would be a job, and then the time it took to do them, uh, that would be the time it took to do them. And then after you set that up, after you set that up, um, you set up rate one plus rate two is rate total. The in the sum of the individual rates is going to be the rate total on the output. So let's go to the cousin problem. Working with your cousin, you can refinish a table in three hours. Working alone, your cousin can complete the job in four hours. How long would it take you to refinish the table working alone? Okay, yes. Oh boy, we're talking about the cousin. Mm -hmm. What we want to do is we want to set up jobs per time. Right, what's my job? My job is uh, refinishing cabinets. Yes. Let's set up our rates. Great. We're going to have rate cousin plus rate u is rate total. OK. So we're talking about one cabinet in your cousin does it in four hours. Plus, do you know how long it takes you to do it? No, you don't. Let's call it x. That's what we're trying to find out. But you do know if you and your cousin were working together, it would take three hours. Right. Hmm. I don't know how long it would take me to finish cabinets, but I think my cousin's pretty good. Okay. So then I gotta go through and I gotta multiply by the common denominator. What would a common denominator be if you had one? 12x. Yeah. So I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna multiply each one of those terms by 12x, by 12x, by 12x. Yes. Reduce. They fight. Well, if I was working with my cousin, I'd probably fight. Yes, 3x plus 12 is, wait for it, 4x. Now I got x's on both sides, one on my one side, which side? Right siders, positive people prevail. And it looks like it's gonna take you 12 hours. Yes. Yeah, you were kinda slow. But hey, wait, I have another example. And it's an actual real life example of my bathroom sink. I threw everything. I threw everything at this one, including the bathroom sink. Work rate problems. Oh boy! We got a real life example here. My sink drains slow, but how slow? If it takes 27 seconds for the sink to fill with the drain closed, and 54 seconds for the sink to fill with the drain open, how fast? is the drain draining. Okay, that was a nice clip. So then, now, let's see the math. Okay, we first need to set up our rate. Um, one sink in um, seconds. Okay, we're talking about sinks per second. We're talking about jobs per time. So, I know that my sink, um, my rates, my rate fill, minus my rate drain is going to be the rate together. Yes, because the drain is working against the sink or the faucet. Sure. <laughs> Never mind. Um, okay. So then I know the rate of my fill. That's one sink in 27 seconds minus, do I know how fast it's draining? I don't. Let's call it X. But I know together it takes 54 seconds. Uh huh. So then let's go through and let's see how fast that drain can drain that sink. Mm hmm. So then I need a common denominator. What would a common denominator be if you had one? Wait, wait. Is that one twice that one? Yeah. So my common denominator is going to be 54x. So I go through and I multiply each term by 54x. And here we go. 54x, 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 yes. In essence, multiplying both sides by the common denominator. Yeah, here, they fight. Oh, and I have 2x minus, uh, uh, 54 is equal to, wait for it, wait for it, x. Oh no! 
add the 54, subtract the x, and x turns out to be 54 seconds. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. These numbers are quite curious. And um, it was my sink, man, I took it. What does that say, what does that say? Um, that says that the sink drains in 54 seconds? Right, so it drains twice as slow, or it fills twice as fast as it drains, and that's why it took twice as long to fill it with the drain open. Okay.